This is the solution to written homework 60. Okay, so part A, according to the definition, this is f of 8 divided by g of 8. That can be obtained by two lookups. So f of 8 is 0, and g of 8 is 1, so the answer is 0. For this one, by definition, this is g evaluated at f of 6. So f evaluated at 6 is 4, so this is g evaluated at 4. And then uh, g evaluated at 4 is 0. <coughs> OK, this one is by definition f evaluated at 3, product g evaluated at 3. So that can be accomplished with two lookups. So that'd be 3 times 9. Twenty-seven. This is f evaluated at f of 0. Well, f of 0, that's 5. And then f of 5, that's 2. <coughs> Part E, what it's saying is that what if you compose f with itself uh, and you do and you make this composition 1314 times? Okay. Well, let's let's see what happens. If you take a 9 and you put it in the F machine, well, if you put a 9 in the F machine, out comes a 9. F of 9 is 9. And the observation that I wanted you to make is that no matter how many times you put a 9 into the F machine, always going to be a 9. Even if even if you put 1,314 of them in a row. So the answer is just 9. <coughs> so this one is a little more interesting. So now the question is, is what if you start repeatedly putting a 9 into a G machine. Okay. So if you put a 9 in to the G machine, then out comes an 8. So supposing that we route that into another G machine. Well, G of 8 is 1, so a 1 would come out we put that into another G machine. Well, G of 1 is 6. If we put that into a G machine, G of 6 is 3. that into a G machine, G of 3 is 9. <coughs> so that would be a 9. So now what I want you to observe is that after 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we get a 9 again. So putting 1, 2, 3, 4, five G's in a row is the same as having done nothing. <coughs> so if we put another five G's in a row,
this also would be a 9. And now that is 10 G's in a row. So that means that every time we put 10 G's in a row, that's the same as doing nothing. That 9 goes in, does a bunch of different things, but then ends up coming out as a 9. And so look at what happens. Uh, we're going to do, this is 10 G's in a row is the same as doing nothing, which means that 1,000 G's in a row is the same as uh, doing nothing. And then another 300, because 300 is divisible by 10, is the same as doing nothing, is the same as uh, 1,310 times. So we could take this 9, and we could put it through a sequence. 1,310 G's in a row. And out would come a 9. <clears throat> so after that, there'd only be 4 more to go. After 1,310 of them. So that would be 1,310, and then 1,311, that would give us an 8, and then 12, that would give us a 1, 13, that would give us a 6, And then 14, that would give us a 3. So the answer is 3. Because the first 1,310 G's did nothing, and then the next 4 ended up giving us a 3.